Tonight, United is reading at Old Trafford in the FA Cup and although it's not as tasty a tie as City was last time out, I'm still just as excited as going to Old Trafford no matter who we're playing, no matter when we're playing, it's still an absolute treat. Come on United! And although it's not the biggest game in the world, the atmosphere is going to be absolutely top notch as United fans, as I've always said, are the absolute best in the country. Come on United! Right, we're outside Old Trafford and it's an unchanged team from the midweek game against Forest with the exception of Maguire. So I'm going to go for a 3-0 win for United in today's game. Come on United! It's a first round, will you please welcome not wanting to sound like a broken record, but as always, as I've repeated a million times, that atmosphere was amazing right from the off in the Stretford end. For United! In the battle of the Giants, Wow was impressing as he was pressing all over the pitch. The tank, Casemiro, was busy just doing tank-like things. United were having the majority of the chances. Ericsson almost broke the deadlock as he came close with a free kick. Wow, again was running around like a madman. And Rashford channeled his inner Ronaldo, but the goalkeeper was up to the task. So no sue today. Oh! We were repeatedly knocking on the door. Finally, after half an hour, that man Rashford once again broke the deadlock. Things were not well, however, as VAR was summoned. There was confusion galore. Checking it for if it crossed the line. No, oh, no, that's the line. Ref got the signal. So what are they checking it for? Offside. 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 Oh, all right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I thought the goalie saved it, though. That's what I was thinking. If it's crossed the line. Unfortunately, no goal. The fans weren't happy as they felt decisions were going against United and just on the stroke of half-time, Reading summoned up all of their might and almost took a surprising lead into the break. Anthony and Juan Bissaka were busy doing circus acts and in complete contrast to a few minutes before, Anthony played a pearl of a ball. And Casemiro put us 1-0 ahead. Come on, United. My man Fred was introduced and once again the Brazilians connected for an absolute beauty of a goal by Casemiro. <laughs> Carol, feeling overshadowed by Walt Weckhorst, decided to retreat from the competition and get himself an early dinner. Saka was busy doing his best Warbeck impression and my man Fred was on hand to put us 3-0 up. Oh, oh, Again, we kept on piling forward. In
In the meantime, Redding clawed back a goal. Garnacho came close. Oh. And finally, after a billion years, we got to see his twin brother on the pitch for Kondo Pelestri once again. We missed even more chances, and that was finally the end of the game. Come on, United. was an extremely fun second half I've done an extremely dour first half pretty similar to the Aston Villa game earlier in the year in the Carabao Cup when the game was sprung into life in the second half United were absolutely dominant Reading did get into the game a little towards the end but it was just a little too little a little too late as we were already 3-0 up on to the next game against Nottingham Forest and another top performance and another top atmosphere at Old Trafford come on United